And on that note, we cue the music. John Boehner and Harry Reid of Bill's Books, and welcome to the filibuster edition of... No, shut it down! Shut it uh, down! Shut it down! We're trying to prevent Bill Care from passing. Anyway, that's just our opinion. We're being stupid, and, you know, our opinions are our opinions, and not worth much. But let's get to the books and stuff, because... We're trying to be topical, like South Park. Yeah, we're trying to be topical, like Jay Leno. Yeah. Have you ever noticed it? Anyway, um, and and really, it's going to be a filibuster because we got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, today's a filibuster because we got a crap ton of stuff to show you guys. So let's do it. Uh, Fables trade paperback, Werewolves of the Heartland. That was cool. I got the hardcover when it came out. Excellent. Mighty Thor, Walt Simonson Thor. I think Excellent. that's volume two. Oh, volume two. Uh, what if Avengers versus X Men? Isn't that the Jimmy Palmiotti? Yep. Nice. Thor season one hardcover. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh. Absolution. Boing! Dennis's pick of the week. Action Comics. Look at that. It's 24. We're out of the point ones. Oh, thank God. Hallelujah. With the Villains Month in our rearview mirror, we can all breathe a little easier. All new X-Men. Battle of the Atom. That's not over yet. No. But uh, there you go. All new X-Men special. Well, this because they can't have two so cross. This book ships twice a week. <laughs> well, and they can't even be in part. They have to be in two different crossovers. Look, that's part of the Return of Doc Ock. Yeah. Archie, look, it's Archie. I love Archie. Is Archie trying to say something about Thor? Yeah. Crossed. I haven't opened this, but why isn't this in a bag? Yeah, there might have been an, an errant booby, but yeah. otherwise it's okay. Code name action. I, I may have to go drop it. Yeah, there's no Frank Avilia cover. No Frank Avilia cover, but look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Anyway. Daredevil. We love Daredevil. All right, now it's David Lapham. Oh, my God. Oh, that's the Dark Knights, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the limited series. Detective Comics, yeah. Batman. Oh, and this this is a highly anticipated part of the Doctor Who Prisoner of Time, because this is the Eccleston. Yes. And he's actually a fairly... And that's also a Frank Avita cover. Oh, I didn't notice. Oh, he didn't notice. Oh, <laughs> bullshit me. Um, Green Arrow, isn't there supposed to be like the, this is the first appearance of a, oh no, that's coming out. On yeah. The first appearance of a TV character in it. Chad's pick of the week, Green Lantern. Lights out, because, you know... Especially with this banged-up cover right here. Look at that. Thank you, Diamond. Oh, that's a beauty. Yeah, it's a real beaut. Grim Fairy Tales. One's really... Either one's a, a kid and the other one's grown up, or one's really tall. I'm not sure which. Judge Dredd, that looks like a pretty cool cover. Yeah? Yeah, it's the classic stuff. But yeah. I think right now they're in the Wagner stuff. And the Kiss Kids. Eh. I'm just not a Kiss person. I know a lot of people who are big Kiss people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lady Rawhud. Oh, Turkey's done. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Lazarus. That's Jeremy's pick of the week. That's a good book. Nick loves Lazarus. That's a favorites. really good book. It's one of his favorites. The Occultist. That's a good one, too. I've liked it since it started in Dark Horse. Pathfinder Nose Goblins. Goblins? Not, not Nose Goblins, just Goblins. Uh, Penny for Your Soul. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm sorry. Penny for Your Soul? Yeah. 
That's how they get the penny. Yeah. Actually, it's ten souls for a penny, and then you have to uh, buy ten more souls over the next four years. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Columbia House. Remember yeah. that when I used to do that? That's when they had these things called tapes. I think I still have ten, uh, ten of those accounts open in different states in the country. Uh, next pick of the week, Pirate Eye, Murder at Ten Knots. That's just good stuff. At first, I thought it said Murder at Dawn Knots. <laughs> Oh, Jack. <laughs> Quantum and Woody, ladies and gentlemen. That that book has really been good. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Suicide Risk. Story of my life. Oh, we are like that in the morning. Uh, suicide Risk, Flight Risk. I'm, I'm you know, Insurance Risk. Uh, Superior Foes of Spider-Man. I love the B-list villains. I love them. <laughs> The face of Cedar reveal. <laughs> Seed and face, not a good match. No. Depending on what you're into. People are going to be grabbing that thinking it's something else. Yeah, right. Especially, look, I just noticed, look at the... It's oozy. It's all sticky. Oh, oh, oh. Swamp thing. How low you've sunk. Solid state tank girl. I just love the cover. Hey, he's looking at his... Oh, well, he's a kangaroo. You don't know what he's actually looking at. Sure, let's see what else we got up here. You missed something. What did I miss? See that Thor? Yeah. Ooh, it's that's a, a reprint big... of the Mighty Avenger by, um, I believe that's Chris on the art. What? Yeah. It's good stuff. Okay. Uh, a superhero stories of what? Super stories of heroes and villains. Okay. It's a book. Book. Oh, words. Super Crooks trade paperback. That's for those of you who didn't want to get millard by the single issues. You can finally just get it done. Yeah, we also got another copy of the Arkham Asylum in. Essential reading for all Joker and Batman fans. Ryan's pick of the week, Batman Black and White. Is this the one with the Raphael Grandpa? I believe so. Grandpa um, Joker that looks really, really creepy. But that's a Steranko cover. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, Steranko. More on Steranko later. He yelled at me. <laughs> <laughs> Batman. That's, uh, that's a yeah. dollar essential. A dollar essential. Uh, Brian Bucciolato. The mastermind behind Foster doing the black bag. Which do you hear? He's going to be going to detective. Nice. Yeah. Right here is Bedlam. We got it over here. We just got it in. I love Bedlam. But we just got it in today. So yeah, we were shorted out. yesterday, so they dropped. They, they drop shipped it, and they only missed like four or five things in the emergency drop ship. Yeah, they drop shipped us like maybe twelve items, and five of them weren't there. Yeah. Phantom X Max. Nick, how do you feel about that? The cover alone makes Frank it worth of, it. Frank of you. Now the description is kind of cool because it's supposed to be it's, it's supposed to be like a HBO type show. Excellent, so. excellent. Forever evil. It's like forever plaid, but less plaid, more evil. Well, uh, plaid is evil. Sure. Take it from someone who had to wear plaid as a kid. Nothing's worse than. Were you a lumberjack? No, nothing's worse than when you're ten, you're forced to wear a plaid skirt. No, it's. Oh. A, it was a leisure suit. <laughs> we must get pictures. <laughs> My pick of the week, Grindhouse, surprisingly enough. Look at that cover. Frank of you cover. B, Mc, B Vixens from Mars. I read it last night. How is it? It's awesome. I'll bet. You can flip through there and you think, oh, why isn't this bag? It's provocative, yet never shows anything. Okay. That's how it's supposed to be. That's not porn. No. Hit. Issue two of Hit. I love this book. That was yeah, very L.A. Good. Confidential. If you like that kind of thing, you got a missed a new one from. Uh, is that new? Oh yeah, it's a new it one is. from Vertigo. Hinterkind. There's actually two of them this week: the Hinterkind and the Witching Hour. That's a veritable wealth of Vertigo uh, goodness. <laughs> it's like a. It's, it's. I don't know. I got Vertigo. <laughs> He's got Vertigo. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Um, Legend of the Wicked West. Uh, we do fairly well with that here. Um, people like their Oz. Any kind of, any kind of, you know, applications of the Wizard of Oz. Sure, we got some stuff here. That Mind the Gap is good. Oh yeah. Uh, Mighty Avengers. Mighty Avengers. That's Luke Cage team. Yeah, that's the one with Luke Cage. Now, see that reality check. I got issue one. I really wasn't. It didn't really grab me. So I, I'm out. He's out. It, it it usually I give him three, but I just it didn't do it for me. So and again, your mileage may vary. Yeah, our opinions are our opinions, and they're worth very little. Uh, on the other hand, that is Ed two hundred nine on the cover of RoboCop issue three. That's, is it three? Yes. 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 RoboCop. Yeah. 
And you were right. That last gambit was the last gambit. The last. Isn't that? Wasn't that a movie? You are the last gambit. Um, <laughs> Again, you're thinking of the. Yeah, I think I'm thinking of the last dragon. Yeah, show enough. <laughs> the show gonna Harlem. Um, Carl's special pick of the week: Sonic the Hedgehog. Always. It's really the only book he reads. Yeah, he's a uh, Sonic man through and through. Yeah, Shadow. That's now that's cover. Shadow now. That's Shadow now. It's like Marvel now only. Shadow now. Uh, let's see what else we got. Joe's pick of the week: Thunderbolts. Because it's the only thing with the Punisher in it. Yep, yeah, because it's got the Punisher in it. Todd, the ugliest kid on earth. That is a great book. Another got another convert to that book. It's good stuff. In fact, uh, my friend Todd from Slash's band tweeted a cover of it. He was like, "That's great, best title ever for a comic book." Trillium, we like Trillium. Oh yeah. Jeff Lemire, love it. Uber. 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 This looks like it's about bears. Werewolves. Which is awesome. Oh, it's about werewolves. Yeah. I think there should be more books about bears. What, did you ever see, what was that, Bear Shark? No, I didn't see that. Bushido, Vampires, and Samurai. You think I'm not getting this? Crazy. We're going to see how it, because I remember I got Shinku and all those other ones, and they, they kind of just fizzled out. Mm. Captain America Living Legend. Andy Diggle's writing that one. <laughs> Diggle. <laughs> Catalyst Comics. Hello. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> Cave woman. Yeah, because people buy that for the story. Yeah. It's not bad either. <laughs> Just like I read it for the articles. Uh, the CBLDF, Liberty. The Dead Shall Have Liberty from the Grave. Yeah, we've got the three of the covers. I got the Gabriel Ba. Oh, what? Well, what do you got? Yeah. Ghost Town. What's that about? I don't know. Apparently, Godfathers and Daughters. Doing a lot of coke. Yeah, apparent warning. This book contains knife play, gunplay, and vehicular manslaughter. Oh, so they're playing GT5. I might have to buy it, yeah. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Hunger. I need a donut. And are you hungry like the wolf? I am hungry like the wolf. Um, Infinity, the hunt. Do you think we show our age when we make reference to, like, Duran Duran? Maybe. This might be the cover of the week. It, yeah. That's pretty good. From Todd the Knock. Universe, yeah. The Mocking Dead. It's actually kind of funny. Morning Glories. Everything just gets weirder and weirder in that book, and I can't turn away. Very excited about this. Marvel Knights Spider-Man, written by Matt Kent. Art by Marco Rudy. Look the good. art's really good. Oh, yeah. And I opened it up. I was like, ah, I don't know whether I'm going to wait for the trade or this on this or not. And I opened it up to a page with Frankenstein's monster yep. on it. What was I going to do not buy it? Wait, that's, that's silly. The Star Wars, number two. Actually, the first three prequels were number two. Um, the Fall of Stormwatch. Does that mean this is getting canceled too? I don't. I'm surprised it made it this far. Yeah. Okay. And uh, here's the other Vertigo that he was talking about. Witching Hour. Witching Hour. Seven ninety nine one shot. Well, they get you with the seven ninety nine one shot, don't they? They do. Yeah. You missed Shadow Man there next to Spider Man from Valiant. That's been one of their better ones too. Shadow Man. Eight bit cover. Mm hmm. It's a big thing right now. And then, of course, two two hardcovers there. We got the Deadly Horrors, and this is the uh, the Hickman Fantastic Four. I believe that's Volume One. Yeah. Okay, so that's the new books. So now we're gonna show you some swag we got because we gotta hurry because we got lots of stuff to show. We you. We got all kinds of stuff. We got Nick's Starbucks. Uh, let me get that. Too late now. Now that you you're a corporate shill, mm -hmm. we're selling out, kids. As fast as we can. How do you think i got to get my, my coffee in the morning? Doctor Who, Volume 1, Hardcover, Winter's Dawn, Season's End. It collects the uh, the tenant stories from IDW, because IDW will be losing the Doctor Who here in like oh, two months. No. Hey, look, it's the key to our bathroom here at uh, Bill's Books. Oh, yeah. Yeah, anyway, uh, Fantastic Four, Volume 1, it it's, looks like a hardcover omnibus. It's the, uh, they finally reprinted it. Fantastic oh. Four, Amazing Spider-Man, they finally went back. And reprinted those, because they used to go for a pretty penny, the yes. first prints. So we also got the Avengers, Gentle Giant, Iron Man. It looks like a bust, mini bust. Yeah, he lights up. Nice. So you can He use doesn't him to light you up, but he, he lights up. He gets lit up. <laughs> um, Supergirl with her... Um, Batman, bloody knuckle Batman. Looks like he... Never mind. <laughs> Um, let's go. That over. is positioned poorly. Look. At yes, it is. See how it's framed up in there? Because it looks like he yeah. gave her the old... Uh, <laughs> Donkey Punch. Anyway, we've got uh, the Mystery Mini Big Bang Theories. Look, we got a little penny. 
A little penny for your thoughts. Penny for your soul back there. Penny, penny for, for your, your thoughts. Penny for your soul. Penny for your... <laughs> We're terrible. We are pretty bad. We got a lot of pops this week. Look at these awesome pops. We got Beetlejuice. I already said it three times. He didn't show up. Might be a little too early for him. Leatherface. Some from the new Thor movie coming out. Loki. Dark Elf. Thor. Some Santa Jack Skelly. Look at Zero. Come on, that's adorable. Stop it. it. We got the Duck Dynasty for all you hillbillies out there. Like like Nick. Nick loves Duck Dynasty. We got shorted our size, though, because our sides were packed with Batman Beyond. <laughs> See, even Batman Beyond wants to be part of Duck Dynasty. In the future, the world is run by Duck Dynasty. It's run, it's run by the Robertsons. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I hope I die soon. Um, and we also got these awesome Joker Dark Knight trilogy pops. And then look, look at Grumpy Face. Mm, I got the Grumpy Face. Speaking of Thanos, we got some other stuff over here. Follow us. You said speaking of Thanos and I showed Dark Side. Oh, yeah. Well, well aren't they technically the same person? Yeah, they're the same person. Whatever. Um, look at this sweet, and I assume it's for sale. I don't know. It's not marked yet. George Perez, Thanos Rising sketch cover. Not quite as good as the Jason Aaron Not Heron quite, one. but I mean, it's it's got he's got potential. Yeah, this guy, this kid could go along. I more. mean, yeah, especially because he was probably drawing that with one eye. Yeah, that's right, he was because I saw him at the show. He had his eye patch on. He had his eye patch, a la Nick Fury. Awesome. George Perez is so nice. Now he's, he's got an exclusive with uh, Boom. Yes, I know. That's pretty awesome. So okay, so that's what we got uh, for that stuff. I got some great um, self-published comics lately, and I want to show you guys. I want to go through them really quickly. At the Pittsburgh Comic Con, I picked this up from Fat Jar Studios, Dark Things. It's a werewolf western. The guy's out of Streetsboro, Ohio, which is not too far from here, so maybe we can get him in here one day. But the art for a self-published comic is really, really good. Oh, yeah. I mean, you Look know, at that. he could, if, if he smoothed out his lines, but why take that kind of effort if you're not going to color it or anything? Yeah. I, I like that look. I do, too. Dark Things. Check it out if you can. I, I really like it. Also, I met a really nice girl at... Uh, I met a nice girl. At uh, Wizard World Ohio down in Columbus. Uh, Enrica Jang from the Red... I think it's Red Stylo or Red Stilo. I don't know how you pronounce it. Anyway, S-T-Y-L-O. Uh, comics. And she gave me some great books to... Uh, from their line to uh, uh, review. Got Seventh Voyage, which is pretty good. And there's some boobies in it. <laughs> City of Walls, which is also pretty good, and Torchbearer, with which, art by Dennis Calero. Which I actually got Torchbearer in Chicago. Yeah. They were set up a C2E2. It is. Torchbearer is actually pretty good. Yeah, these are all, it's all like a, a wide variety. It's like not just one kind of book. It's like yeah. different things. So definitely check these three out. I liked all three of them quite a bit. And uh, we'll see if I'm smart enough to put a, a link in the description. We'll find out. Yeah. I guess we'll find out. Also, I ordered. This, I saw it mentioned in an article on CBR. This guy... Um, See, and people at CBR think no one reads their that's articles. That's right. Uh, Mad Bomber 37 Press. That's how I got it. I went to their thing. And, and Really? You tried to, You had to Google Mad Bomber? Yeah. <laughs> that's a bad idea, isn't yeah. it? Well, the government's in shutdown. You're probably yeah, all right. I'll be all right. Anyway, so it's called The Black Sheep, and it's a samurai graphic novel. Sorry, we had a little technical hiccup. So, but anyway, Black Sheep, Samurai. It's basically Unforgiven with Samurai Swords. Cool. Check it out. And they also sent me this, Melee. It's a selection of short comics from the same company. So for 10 bucks, including shipping, I got these two books. It was awesome. Um, at the uh, conventions, I went to uh, Columbus last weekend and then Pittsburgh just this past weekend. I met Mike Zek, which was pretty awesome, and nice. got this really, really cool art book. With all kinds of stuff in it. G.I. Joe and Master of Kung Fu and Punisher. and Look at that hat. That's awesome. Anyway, so I got that. When I went to Pittsburgh this weekend, the guest of honor was Jim Steranko. Who yelled at me, by the way, because I was walking past him early in the morning. And I went to t I was like, hey, there's Steranko. I want to take a picture. And I like leaned over to take a picture. And I was like maybe 10 feet away from him. He was like, no, no, no pictures. Don't take any pictures. you got to ask first. And it was like, I was like freaked out because Steranko could beat me up he's about 95 years old but he could take me pretty handily so oh, yeah. anyway but he did the one of the very first concept sketches for Indiana Jones and he actually had a print of it there at the show so I got this signed by Jim Steranko which 
is beyond awesome. Indy's smoking. <laughs> Indy's smoking a cigarette. That's because Steranko's like a uh, pro cigarette, I guess. I don't know. Wow. Well, I don't think he, he figured is. at that time he'd be a badass. He'd yeah, be right. smoking. Oh, yeah. And I wasn't going to buy any more prints because I only have six million of them, but I walked past a booth and they had. Well, how do you walk by that? It's not... Jim Kelly, Black Belt Jones himself. Print. I had to buy. What was I going to do? Not buy it. That's just silly talk. I can't not buy it anyway. So and then really quickly, I want to show you my sketches, and then we will uh, go through the previews. If I can get to them here. Oh, here we go. In Columbus, Sean Forney, who's been to the store a couple times. Once. Once. We'll have him back. He did Nuke for me. That's pretty awesome. Cool. Yeah, he did Nuke, who is now in the Captain America comic book. Scott McDaniel, Daredevil artist and Nightwing artist extraordinaire, did a Gambit sketch for me. Nice. Which is pretty cool. And Jamie Fay, local artist guy, did the long shot for me. That's, that's really cool. Yeah, that's really awesome. And Jim Ballant, who does uh, tarot, Black Rose, that kind of thing, did Conan for me. That's sweet. Yeah, so. Yeah, Bill, when he went to pick that up, they, they asked him if he carried their stuff, and we, we do. We yeah. carry tarot, you yes. know, not much, but we do carry it. Sure. And he said, you know, we have to bag it, and they questioned him, why? Because <laughs> there's big boobies hanging out all over the place, <laughs> and not just big boobies. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the stuff I got. So next we're going to show you the previews. Come on! Previews! Previews! Oh, yeah, what are you going to buy? What are you going to buy? Oh, I'm dizzy now. Okay, here we are with the new issue of the previews. So we're going to go through it and find some cool stuff for you to buy and spend all your money on. Mm -hmm. First sure. of all... At least they know that it's you know that it's, it's not coming. coming in like two months or yeah, something. Yeah, right. First one, first thing that we marked, uh, Play Arts Kai variants. That's just the weirdest looking Flash figure ever. And Batgirl. That girl's got a mini cape and a mini skirt. How about that? There's also a Batman variant with red highlights. You know how I feel about highlights. Yeah. Uh, what? Darwin Cook, new Parker hardcover. Buy it. Yeah, that's... Don't the, don't even question it. There's no questioning it. This is Also, buy. number one, Terminator Salvation. Final battle, one of 12 from J. Michael Straczynski. Supposedly, it's putting the cherry on the Terminator saga. And it's back at Dark Horse. I ordered this. 47 Ronin hardcover. You, you prepping for the Keanu movie? Yeah, no. But I'll, I'll watch the Keanu movie, but it's a samurai story, so I had to. Oh, yeah. It. Yeah, so um, what else we got? Got a little. Uh, this, I, I did this one because finally a lot of people have asked. This is the last issue in the first arc of Hellboy in Hell, which has taken a while because at San Diego they announced an artist edition from IDW that's collecting the first story arc of Hellboy in Hell and they hadn't even finished it yet. Jeez. Put the cart before the, before the horse. Before no. the force. Before the force. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do we got here? Uh, I just, I mean, come on. Like, there's yeah. some the grindhouse cover. What, are you not going to buy that? You're not going to, I mean, look at that. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Well, Harley Quinn number one. Number one. We showed you issue zero last month. This yep. month is number one. Got to buy it. Got to buy it. Uh, Sandman. Oh, no, no, no. Dead, Dead Boy, Boy Detectives. Detectives. That's what we marked it for. Dead Boy Detectives. So that's the concept that will not die over at DC. They keep trying to bring it back. Uh, we got some Batman Arkham Origins figures. Look at that. That's actually, it's a cool Deathstroke. That and... Anarchy That's looks actually not too. a bad anarchy. I, I like anarchy, the original idea of anarchy. When he changed up, I didn't quite care for him. He looks like he's one of the Jabberwockies. Good for him. Yeah. Oh, here's Parker again. Yeah, the big oh, wait, wait. big display. Yeah, the big, there's Parker. We like it so much we marked it twice. This is actually, this is the last issue of any kind of Doctor Who from IDW. Wow, wow, wow. The, the, the BBC America has taken the right somewhere else. The illegitimate. Uh, yeah, I just marked it. Come on. I don't even... Yeah. Look, it's it's like James Bond, but everybody's pregnant. pregnant. See? God, you're not going to want to buy that issue just to see what's going on. Premarital sex has un unintended consequences, kids. Dead Body Road. Looks like an excellent revenge story, so I marked it. I added it to my pull list. Liked it. Like liked the way it looked. Saviors by James Robinson and Jay Bone. Can't go wrong there. That's a good combination. Yeah, the art is good. What else we got? Oh, the Black Kiss Christmas special. Because <laughs> what's Christmas without tentacles and trannies? We'll read the solicit. 
The Black Kiss Christmas Special, because nothing says holiday fun like an endless stream of incredibly nasty revenge sex. I'm going to get that printed on my cards this year. Heck yeah. Oh, and also you got Carbon Gray starting ba oh, back yeah, up. Carbon Gray. Boy. I just... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Hawk this and Lay, because it's... Look who's right. Who's drawing? Yeah. Or do, doing some... Jim Mafood, who you know we love. Yeah. He's going to be doing the. And if you if you're a gamer and you want to get into his stuff, there you go. You get uh, into the Hawking book. Yeah. What else we got here? What do we got here? This one was probably. Oh, this is me. Pang the Wandering Shaolin Monk, Volume Two, hardcover. I didn't know what it was. So I really? ordered the first two. Because I, I also marked it for the Fearless Dawn one shot. I always enjoy those. Those are always good. Oh well, we both marked it. We're crazy like We're that. We're crazy like that. What do we got here? This. Happy Kitty. One of my favorite characters from Absolution, getting her own little book. Happy Kitty. Happy Kitty. The Deceivers. This is a more uh, crimey, heisty goodness from Stephen Grant, who did two guns and is now doing three guns. And you might end up seeing a lot more Boom stuff being made in the movies now that they've got yeah, a, they've got a they got a deal. Yeah. So uh, Doc Savage, the Man of Bronze. They better Alex not. Ross, uh, Staranko homage cover. They better not mess that up. People, a lot of people really mess up Doc Savage. Yeah. What is it? Oh, right here. Finally, it's a in preview. Rainbow in the Dark. Rainbow in the Dark, the complete series trade paperback from Comfort and Nat Comfort Love and Adam. Uh, quite a few customers of the store, good friends with them. So order it, people. Order, order it. it. It's good stuff. Don't not order. It. Order it. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Moriarty lives. Yes, but look at who did the cover. Frank Avila cover. He just. He's just. He's dead. everywhere. That guy. Downset fight. Looks like uh, this guy is going to be fighting every uh, sports mascot that comes his way. Nice. It's like Kill Bill meets uh, the Philly Fanatic or yeah. the San Diego Chicken. Anyway, uh, let's see what else we got here. I can't remember. I think I, the Carl Lundgren, the, that actually looked kind of cool. I know I, I noticed that, Carl Lundgren, the rock posters. Yeah. I mean, that's a cool thing right there. Probably that was what it was. Uh, we do this in stages, people. Yeah, because I do mine and then he does yeah. his. Look, Evil can evil. Yeah, we already had someone call and ask us to price them out for him. Sure, I would think. Evil can evil is an American hero. The yeah. Anchorman Ron Burgundy 7-inch resin bust. So, someone someone uh, made a suggestion. And we were t I was talking about my family and realized my little brother has a master's in jazz flute. I may have to get that for him. Oh, he has a master's in jazz flute. Is that is there such a thing? No, well, he's got a master's in music. But jazz flute is that's his primary. <laughs> that's his primary flute. Hey, he's the only one of the Romeo boys who actually has a kid. Well, then he's not playing the flute all the time. No. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for the previews. Some cool stuff coming. Notice up. Notice we didn't even hit the Marvel. Yeah, we didn't hit the Marvel. I mean, the DC. only thing in there is that the the Inhuman story that's going to come out of. Infinity, which I'm tired of going from one crossover to another. I'm over it. I'm over it, Marvel. Enough. Yeah. Enough. Okay, so next we're going to do part three of this fantabulous filibuster triptych. We're going to give you a tour of Bill's books. Stay tuned. Part three of the uh, filibuster edition of Bill's books, uh, the weekly geekly. That's the front door. That's, this is the front door. Uh, a customer or a YouTube viewer asked us a couple weeks ago to please do a tour of the store. And we did one a long time ago, but the store changes around a lot because that's how we do it. Uh, when you go to enough shows, you always got to... Yeah, you got to keep things turned over. You got to give people a reason to keep coming back aside from my loveliness. No, no obviously. Obviously. So, we're going to give you a little tour. Here and here, when you first walk in the door, is our kids' books. We want to uh, encourage... Uh, parents to bring their kids in to buy comic books so that oh, yeah. they read all kinds of cool stuff. So all, all age, children's all, books. All ages stuff. And you so, want to know one that I keep refilling? My little ponies. Pon my little ponies? I keep refilling that. They go crazy for the ponies. Oh yeah. Down and then here, we, we even have, I have one little section where these are older kids books, this one box for like a buck, buck fifty. How about that? We also have variant covers. This is our variant cover section. And then down a little bit further are our sets. We put together like sets of yeah, mini storylines, miniseries. Mini -series, that They're kind of stuff. They're usually priced a little cheaper than the trade. Yeah, so we do that for you. Um, these are, of course, our back issues. We got Marvel on the far side, DC over here, um, 
Independent. Independence, like Dark Horse Image, that kind of stuff. Anything else? We got some more sets here that are. This is like our our set discount. Discount set. It's usually uh, usually five bucks a piece, but it, it just, varies. It varies. Um, we also have some hard covers down there that are generally on sale. Usually masterworks and Master, archives. Yeah, right. This is, and we're we're pretty proud of this. Is our self-published small press independent book shelf, and it's got all kinds of crazy stuff from. Uh, from Bad Place uh, to uh, uh, Becky Clune and stuff, the Bad Karma to uh, the Accelerators. We got Comics Tribe we got stuff. Comics Tribe. We got uh, we got the uh, the Ragged Rider. The Ragged boys. Rider. We got the one that uh, was uh, yeah. Scattered Press that, scattered or Scattered, press, scattered yeah. Comics that was asked for. Black Rose. We got all kinds of stuff. We actually have novels from uh, one of our customers, yeah. John Emmons. And the. Uh, those uh, the anime looking ones those, those are, are customers those are also customers that work here the creators of that here's a bunch of cool uh, non big two it looks like like independent hardcovers like Secret Life of D.B. Cooper or Secret History of D.B. Cooper or Infinite Vacation or Oxymoron or Gus Grimley's Frankenstein or Iron Spirit from Steve Niles we got all kinds of crazy hardcover independent hardcover goods and as you can see stacked around there our, all our artist editions. Artist editions. Yeah. This is the Great Wall of Action figures from DC Unlimited to uh, Arkham, the Arkham figures, Justice League stuff, the Marvel Selects. We have uh, the Justice League box set. We got all kinds of stuff. Godzilla, giant Star Wars figures, the whole the whole shlemiel. You guys know about the the uh, the new the, hey. the new weekly rack over here. Hey, give me a minute. I'm trying to show them everything. Okay. All of this stuff is for sale, too, by the way. So, you know about this already. This is the new... That's the one we're always at. This is the this is where we usually start the videos. It's this week's books. This is the books from the last month. Like, if you find the new issue of Batman here, the last issue is probably over here. Yeah. So, we got that. We got more figures here. See more, more statues across there. Yeah. We got Figures some. there. We got some DC hardcovers and trades here. Yeah, try to keep that primarily DC. Sure. We and got then some Marvel ones over here. Marvel up here. You got all the season ones. And yeah. This is our TV. Other. Nick's got uh, TV, so we all learn something. Yeah. I learn about Michael Weston and burn notices. But that's all gone. Yeah. Back there is whatever. That right now is like a mishmash of. Yeah. We're still figuring out what exactly we're going to do all the time with that. Yeah, we got to figure out what we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. We got some uh, Marvel Universe figures. Look, we bought a set recently, and it's got Sasquatch in it. That's pretty awesome. What is this? What is that thing? Part of a brood. Okay. Um, so and we got more of those, the Batmobile cars and stuff like that. Chess pieces that all end up there. Yeah. Look, Batman Statues. or Jokers and Omnibus. We got a lot of uh, very heavy, very uh, this is the weighty tones yeah. over here kill somebody with your book sure this is a current hot title section where if you're looking for the newest issue with chew or peter panzer faust or hoax hunters whatever it is that's where you're gonna that's find where it. you're gonna find it right there and it mixes not just indies it's got marvel it's got dc sure and then of course because everyone asks for it the walking dead is separated yeah you know whatever we have chew has got separated too and you know there's all your walking dead sure and then this is the new hot wall. It's sporadic, you know. That's all all villains, villain month. Uh, Storylines like we'll keep the infinity as long as we have it in stock. We'll keep those up until it's done. Keep it up for another couple weeks and make sets out of it. Yeah, I thought you said make sex out of it. Well, here's the here's the well here's the more stuff you guys have seen. This is just where it goes afterwards. Yeah, banks. Busts. But we build walls out of everything because we we don't we, want to be able to see anybody that comes into the store. No, that's, that's the important. Why, that's why we have those. This is the Isle of Misfit toys, stuff that nobody ever seems to look at or buy, and so it's perennially fifty percent off. But there's some great stuff in here. Yeah, there is some great stuff. Just nobody ever looks at it. So we got that going for us. And oh look, supplies. Supplies. supplies! Uh, we got the Silver and Bronze Age comics here, which is only a portion of our of our stock of silver and bronze age stuff up here we have a lot of uh, variant covers things like that we keep up um, some older stuff back here we have uh, pop island 
all of our bobbleheads and pops that we have in stock, etc., etc. So we have quite a selection, as you can see. And uh, let's see. And here is the dollar room. Just poke your head in here real quick. Every Dark. comic in here is a dollar, and I think every figure, if I'm not mistaken, is 50 percent uh, 50 yeah. off. So you've got uh, all kinds of stuff. So that's Bill's books, everybody. And this is the Punisher, ladies and gentlemen, the Punisher. Ladies and gentlemen, Conway Twitty. Okay, so next time, bye. Toodles.